There are times in life you wish you had a do-over. If you're in a wreck, make the smart choice right away. Frankel & Frankel, feared by the insurance companies. Call Frankel first. All right, cool. We live, chat. All right, cool. Uh, we got confirmation, and uh, I'm your host. Hey, Bachi. All right. All right, let's run this. So Bleacher Report, okay? Bleacher Report tapped me on the shoulder. They said, Vach, we need something from you. Content, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dang, like you know, that's what they do. That's what they do. They say, Vach, we need some content from you. I said, what do you need? They said, Vach, the, the trade deadline is approaching swiftly, okay? And, Vach, we need you to walk through some trade scenarios that the Dallas Cowboys could be trying to attempt over the uh the uh next couple of days before we hit the trade deadline okay and, and and that seems like something that makes a little bit of sense if you're a media entity you would want to talk about that for all 32 teams and that's the brilliance of bleach report and what they do here is that all 32 all 32 teams are going through this hey what would your team trade for what would your team do right now what would your team try to uh you know try to do to help their team in the trade deadline right but it's the problem we're cowboy fans. That's the problem. That's the big issue here. We're cowboy fans. And this time of year, uh, realistically, Jerry Wayne Jones uh, ain't doing nothing. You know, we may send a 2029 12th round pick to some character to get a football player that we never heard of before. Yeah, we'll get Jacksonville's backup, backup, backup defensive tackle. That'll just leave, you know, and, and the, the, the Cowboys do this a bunch. The Cowboys throw a lot of rocks. The Cowboys sign a lot of players. And every time you look at it, you be like, who the hell is this dude? The Cowboys just signed. And every time we say, who the hell is this dude? The Cowboys just signed. It always ends up being some dude that's never on the roster to be seen again. There's a lot of dudes with Cowboys workout shorts and, and T-shirts and all that that we just never see again because they throw rocks. But when it comes to trading and things of that nature, the Cowboys typically don't do too much of that because uh, they they want to hold on to their their uh, draft picks or whatever. But uh, Bleacher Report helps keep uh, keep the lights on around here. So if they tap me on the shoulder and say, "Well, but Vaj, we need you to do a trade deadline show," well, in my mind, I'm gonna have to. The only way this makes a little bit of sense is if I go, "Well, uh, if my last name was Jones." How the hell would I fix this putrid ass team? Did you hear what I said? How would I fix this putrid ass team? This team that's a uh, hot garbage right now, okay? And um, we're gonna go over the picks and what we need to do to trade those picks and the players. A couple of I got five players, uh, five and a possible here that we could actually uh, you know, try to bring in and help the team out. All right, that make a little bit of sense. Come on in, let's do it. Let's run this for the cardio. Let me take a sip of water before I start smacking y'all upside the head with this content, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, if my last name was Jones and I couldn't get fired, and mind you, I'm not going to do this from like what I would do because what I would do is ship all kind of second round picks out because we don't use them. We don't need them. But if my last name was Jones, I would imagine I, I would have to do things like the Joneses do. And uh, they are not going to give up any premium picks to go get players. They're going to give up some form of a third uh like a like a day third a day three pick or whatever a third day pick or something like that anywhere between four and seven okay and the cowboys typically don't give up fours unless they're trade for trey lance or something man braylon allen looks great tyrone tracy looks great isaac Garendo looks great ray davis looks great boy it'd be fantastic to have one of those guys on your team instead of trey lance now huh But it's all good. We ain't doing nothing else. So uh, the first thing that we have to do is we have to figure out what picks that we have, okay? We got to figure out what picks we have. We need to figure out uh, what's in the arsenal there. So let me just pull this up. We ain't doing nothing else. Boom. Let me just pull this up. I like when I'm a circle. Let's pull this up. We ain't doing nothing else. Uh, the Cowboys projected compensatory picks. Y'all know we get draft picks, but when players leave and come back and all that kind of stuff, we get compensatory picks, right? So the Cowboys compensatory picks. It's looking like we're getting three fifth round picks for Tyron Smith, Tyler Biotish, and Dorrance Armstrong. I never would have believed that getting rid of Dorrance Armstrong would net any type of positives or whatever, but the game will be the game. It is what it is, y'all. Uh, but yeah, those are the, uh, are the uh, players in which you would get fifth round picks back. 
And then you get a six round pick uh, for Tony Pollard. Chad, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I, I just would have rather just kept Tony Pollard. Like, like look, if you're gonna give uh, Zeke some money, you're gonna give thirty eight dollars to Dalvin Cook. I'm sure that would have added up to about what Tony's getting over there in Tennessee. But we ain't got that. We ain't, we ain't, you know. We don't have to act like bitter people, all right? Tony gone. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, so we have three-fifths and one-sixth, and I actually looked on Tankathon there just to give you guys a better visual of what that looks like. Of what that looks like. So here are your picks, okay? And mind you, there's a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of furniture places trying to sell us stuff right now, so let's just ignore that. But let's just focus on uh, these draft picks right here. And look, Tankathon got to earn their money somehow, right? So don't worry about it. But uh, this is the the Cowboy draft picks next year. I think it's 10 of them. So we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got 10 draft picks next year. So if my name is, 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 is Vach, last name Jones, and I'm a general manager here and I can't get fired, and I'm still leaning to the idea that the Cowboys aren't going to move any day one or two picks, I have seven day three picks that I can work with. I could keep all these picks and just throw darts at Viliami Fajoko. I could throw darts at guys like Eric Scott. Or I can actually use those picks, those picks to go get some players that I think can actually help me out. Okay. So we got a four, three, four fifths, four fifths, uh, and two six. We don't have a seven round pick. Don't ask me what a seventh round pick went. I don't know. I'm sure uh, that it went to. Let's see. Let's go to full order and take a look at the seventh round. Where'd our seventh round pick go? Uh, the Cowboys and Cowboys. Detroit got our seventh round pick. Who the hell we get from Detroit? Who the hell we get from Detroit? I don't know. That that ain't that ain't mattering right now. But I, I don't know. We'll uh, figure that out later on. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, picks or whatever. Detroit moved. Uh, they moved back so we can get BB or whatever. So, all right, cool. That works out. So, chat. When we think about these players, we're thinking about players that can help us out right now. That'll cost around a day three pick. And mind you, I'm being very. Uh, not liberal with this, not modest with this. I'm being, I'm being extra with this right now. Miles Sanders, you could probably get for a seventh, but like, if you look at like Deontay Johnson, right? Like Deontay Johnson got traded to Baltimore for a swapping of a, of a five and a six. So if my last name is Jones and I can't get fired, I think there's a way that you can keep all 10 damn of your picks and just end up getting some help. But Miles Sanders is first. Uh, Jonathan Brooks is on his way, ladies and gentlemen. Jonathan Brooks, uh, you know, he was allegedly, you know, some some would say the the best running back in the class last year. Uh, the Carolina Panthers took him. He had an ACL injury that he had to recover from. And Chuba Hubbard is kind of like the guy that's like the lead back in Carolina right now. So Chuba Hubbard in tandem with Jonathan Brooks, while Jonathan Brooks gets his NFL legs up under him, I think he's going to be activated any any day now. Uh, maybe next week or 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 if not this week. I think Miles Sanders is a guy on top of the idea that the Carolina Panthers are a train wreck to begin with. And they're not very good. I think the Carolina Panthers would come up off one of them running backs, man. And, and look, Miles Sanders isn't great. There are some people checking me like, well, but Vaj, Miles Sanders ain't all that good. Well, damn, you better than Zeke and, uh, and, and Deuce Vaughn and all them guys right now. He might be on par with, well, I can't even say that because he's rushing more than Rico Dowdle right now. He's better than Rico Dowdle right now. So, yeah. Miles Sanders, I think Miles Sanders is, is uh something that can be done without giving away all those picks or without giving up, you know, major picks in general, but you can still improve your team. Jerry Jones has no clue on, on how to find players because he went on he went on 105 through the fan and was like, hey man, where are you gonna find these players? If you want that clip, you can go on my uh Twitter. I was making fun of it all week. Now, if y'all want a better running back option like I do, I think you can hit up the Miami Dolphins and I'd be like, hey man, y'all, y'all. Y'all losing a little bit, man. Y'all might want to re-up on some draft equity, man. Raheem Mostert is relatively, I was about to say rel relatively healthy. For his standards, he's healthier than he has been. But Raheem Mostert, when he was as healthy as last year, Raheem Mostert was a really good running back for the Dolphins. Uh, but they drafted Jalen Wright for a reason. Devon A-Chain kind of emerged last year. Uh, he was also a draft pick for the Dolphins. Hey, if I'm trying to get better at running back, I'm trying to get Raheem Mostert. 
they even got Jeff Wilson on the roster over there. So if I can't get Raheem most of I'll get Jeff Wilson. I think there's an abundance of running backs over there in Miami. And look, dog, can y'all help us out? And just let me get one of them. Let me hold one of them backs. I can hold one of them backs. I think Raheem Mostert is a good running back that you can um that's clearly better than any running back on your team. And you know, if the Dolphins continue to be a dumpster fire, I think they would love to get some of that some of that draft capital up off you. Plus, I think this Dalvin Cook experiment is uh gonna be end up being being some nonsense. Um, this this whole Dalvin Cook thing, it was fine for a little while, right? Like it was it was fine the idea that hey man, we're gonna save Dalvin Cook and we're gonna ramp him up and we're gonna prepare him to come out here and get ready and tear some stuff up. But Dalvin Cook never really. Hey man, let's just keep it a buck, dog. He wasn't all that. He wasn't all that. In my mind, we was talking about Dalvin Cook like the damn Carolina Panthers talking about Jonathan Brooks. It ain't like that. This ain't like the Baltimore Ravens talking about Keaton Mitchell when he's coming back from injury. This ain't like that. Dalvin Cook was ramping up and he shows up and he does nothing. So I'll probably give Dalvin Cook another week or two, but if he ain't doing nothing, man, I'm, I'm looking for outside help, man. I think Raheem Mostert comes in better right now than Rico Dowd or Dalvin Cook. I think everybody better than Zeke. Um, and Mostert comes in better than Hunter Lickby. I think Miles Sanders comes in better than most of the guys in our room right now. And I think you can give both of these guys for some day three action. You hear me? They say, well, but Vosh, man, you just going to fix the running backs? You ain't going to fix nothing else? Man, y'all ain't got to play me like that, bro. Y'all y'all ain't got to play me. Y'all know we really need help at one tech. Y'all know we really need help at defensive tackle. Man, Vosh, how you gonna how you gonna fix defensive tackle, man? You know, we rocking with Mozzie and old man Linville Joseph right now. What you thinking, man? I'm thinking about reaching out to a bad team in the Indianapolis Colts, and I'm saying, hey, bro, man, look, DeForest Buckner is 30, dog. He is not a part of your future. Let me hold something. Let me hold some. Now, I do think DeForest Buckner could get moved for higher than like a fifth or, or a sixth round pick. But honestly, who are we kidding? If they want a four or five, send it to him. If they want a three, I'll send it to him. We just sent a four to Trey Lance. I can send a four for damn DeForest Buckner. Um, also, something else that, that, that we've learned in all this is that you can negotiate however you want. So you could talk to these teams, and Jerry Jones kind of came out and said this on the radio as well. If we're trying to get a player from you and we're negotiating and all this kind of stuff, we can talk about the picks to money ratio, right? So if we get DeForest Buckner from you expensive and you ain't trying to take none of that money, then I'll, I'll get DeForest Buckner for a six round pick and take the money. But if you actually want draft capital to get better in which I imagine that's what the Colts want to do. I imagine the, the, the Colts want the draft capital. I will give you a three or four. If you, if you, if you take some of this cap hit, now I get DeForest Buckner cheap. I lost the three and the four, but chat, we ain't good at drafting them no way. I don't know what you want me to say here, but uh, DeForest Buckner comes right in. He's better than not only your one text, he's better than your threes, your fives. I let DeForest Buckner come in and play safety because he's better than they ass too. He better than they ass too. It's kind of upsetting that we we get much better at linebacker. We get much faster. We cover better at linebacker. The run game is going to going to absolute nonsense because. Uh, I, you know, to be fair to Mike Zimmer, man, we're hurt. We ain't really got the guys. We, we was healthy when we was getting whooped by the Saints. Uh, but we are rolling Mozzie Smith, Linvel Joseph, you know, KJ Henry of the sorts. And, and you know. Chauncey Golson is your lead guy. Tyrus Wheat is your lead guy. I think we can help our D line right now. You go get the Forrest Buckner, you bring him in. He's better than everybody else. And that'll not only help your other D linemen, it'll help your linebackers. The far as even though I think Oso Dig Zua isn't really living up to the hype that we gave him in the offseason. When I say we, I mean me. I could take that on the chin right there. Um, but even though he's not living up to that, man, I'm I'm I mean I pay Oso Dig Zua in my in my personal opinion. If my last name is Jones and I'm the general manager and I can't get fired, I may not pay also, dig Zua, but one thing I, I feel solid about is that if, if, if DeForest Buckner comes in here, I think also would, would be better with a real dude next to him. That's just my own personal opinion. Yeah, but Vach, man, you know what I'm saying? You just That's all you're going to do on the D-line, Vach? Nah, man, I can't just leave us, you know, can't just leave us with 
Chauncey Golson and all those guys. My guy, you know, little, you know, Chase Young play for the Saints right now. The Saints clearly signed him as if they're going on some run. They are not. The Saints are terrible. Um, Chase Young is on a one-year deal. He's on a one-year deal. That's a very non-committal deal. And honestly, Chase Young don't even cost that much money. Chase Young may he, he may be making like seventy-nine dollars or something like that. He he ain't got a big contract, but Chase Young is making like some some decent money in terms of like defensive end. Chat. I'm not an expert. I'm just a dude with a microphone and a camera. And I work at Bleach Report. Chase Young is better than all the defensive ends you have playing football for you right now. You are decimated right now. Marshawn Nealon is big, big hurt. Demarcus Lawrence is big, big hurt. We don't even know if they we don't know if they coming back. Sam Williams is not only hurt for the year, but he got a three damn game PD suspension. I think you get Marshawn Nealon back. I think you get Demarcus Lawrence back. I think you get Michael Parsons back. Let's add Chase Young to those guys, right? We knew it was going to be a problem even if you only had Marshawn, Demarcus Lawrence, and Michael Parsons, right? We knew it was still going to be a problem because, man, that edge group last year was just plentiful. It was just plentiful. We had so many guys last year. I think even when you get your edge guys back, add Chase Young to this thing. Uh, the Saints only got him for one year. Let's go and try to get some uh, some uh, pass rush to help your cornerbacks out. I think the Cowboys give up a lot of big plays because we can't get adequate pass rush up front. It's all good. We'll fix that. Man, Vash, we just going back to the other side of the football, right? I think we good at linebacker, Vash. I think we good at, you know, corner. Safety could use a little bit of work, but I ain't actively giving up picks to go get no damn safeties. I think the safeties you got, the best safeties you got on, on the team right now. That you Did you say. hear what I said? Yeah, but y'all know how uh, Mike McCarthy and Zimmer get down. Hey, man, y'all want to go get a wide receiver too? I feel like Jalen Tobin in general has been a solid wide receiver two type guy, but I would feel much better if Jalen Tobin was a wide receiver three type guy. Uh, Anybody know when the hell Brandon Cooks come in? Man, I act like Brandon Cooks don't even exist, bro. I act like Brandon Cooks don't even exist, dog. Hold on, Brandon cook when the hell you coming back yeah man we got why the hell you go I, I forgot brandon cooks was even here uh brandon cooks missed the last three games due to an injury that caused him to land on injury reserve oh man if he on ir then it's... if he on ir his ass gone then oh if he on ir his ass is gone all right, so cool. So Brandon Cooks is gone. Uh, that certainly suggests that Brandon Cooks will be able to play in week 10. All right, dog. So yeah, Brandon Cooks out. Hey, man, we need some wide receiver help, dog. Bring in T. Higgins. <laughs> hey, man, Brandon Cooks' ass is out. Shout out to Clifford in the chat. He says uh, he wasn't doing that when he was here. At least Brandon Cooks last year in, ended the season with eight touchdowns. Didn't get a bunch of yards, but ended with eight touchdowns. And uh, then week one, he got another one. So he he technically got nine touchdowns in the last what ten games that he played. I think that's that's solid. That's solid production. I think your play call is your issue. Hang tight. We'll we'll uh, talk about that. But T Higgins wants more money. How much money he wants, I'm not possibly. Sh I'm I'm not I'm not sure. I think he wants to be paid uh, decently. I don't think he wants to break the bank or anything. We already broke the bank with uh, C D Lamb, so that's not going to be the case. Uh, but I do think if if T Higgins wants like a decent amount of wide receiver money, a relative decent amount of wide receiver money, and you compare that with the rest of the guys that we have, and just don't pay no damn body else, I think T Higgins. T. Higgins would fit here, but this will never happen. This is Dallas. This will never, never happen. This, this, this Dallas. Hey, this Dallas. This, 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 this why this never gonna work. This why this never gonna work. This man right here. This man right here. That's why it's never gonna work. So we ain't even gotta look at T. Higgins. We can go ahead and get him up off the list right now. But chat. I didn't even know this was a thing until a couple years ago. I thought it was interesting when I heard it, but you know. Couple of years ago, come on, music. I'll get my war card ready. A couple of years ago, 
Y'all remember when the Saints put Sean Payton on a trade block? Y'all remember that? I was like, damn, dog, y'all can do that? Y'all can do that? Y'all can put Sean Payton on a trade? I ain't know y'all can even trade for coaches like that. But yeah, you can trade for coaches. Give me Ben Johnson right now. We're in the Super Bowl tomorrow. Now, look, I have Ben Johnson here not to allude to the idea that we're going to trade for Ben Johnson or anything like that. Uh, you know, Ben Johnson's probably going to be a Detroit Lion for the rest of this season. And um, he's going to probably want to be a head coach next year. That's fine. Uh, he's going to want to finish what he started in Detroit. That's cool. Finish your year out. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. I think we're looking for a lot of peas on offense because your play call is absolutely horrible. I think Mike McCarthy, I think Mike McCarthy is horrific. I think he is horrific. Horrific. Terrible. Hey man, that dude right there could save us. Ben Johnson right there could save us. Ben Johnson wants to throw past the offensive lineman, but he is not your savior. That's false. He he'll he'll save you. Now, if this dude comes in and he's your new head coach, now nah, we could party. We going to damn Golden Corral if Ben Johnson's your head coach. I know we can't trade for him. If you could, I think that's a first round pick right now waiting to happen. I will give you a first round pick for damn Ben Johnson. But that'll never happen because we got Jerry Jones, man. Hey, man, Jerry Jones in the mix. We got brother Jerry Jones in the mix, so it don't matter, man. But whatever. Chat, Miles Sanders. Who else I said? DeForest Buckner, T. Higgins, Chase Young, and uh, Raheem Mostert. That's my five targets that the Cowboys could be going for, but they're not because Jerry Jones goofy. Uh, but if I was the general manager, those are players that I think you can bring in and use fifth round picks. You got four fifth round picks. You got two sixth round picks. You can and a fourth. You can use all day three picks to bring in the guys that we that we talked about today. But we'll see how this thing plays out. All right. P appreciate y'all for watching on Bleach Report, man. I know y'all have the app because you're watching right now. But if uh, you got a friend that doesn't have the app, then tell them to download the Bleach Report app right now. If they're Cowboy fans, tell them to tap into the Cowboy tab. But Bleach Report got all the teams, all the sports. So y'all go and check it out, man. Bleach Report is doing some great things uh, with streaming moving forward. And they have employed some of your favorite uh, content creators and YouTube streamers, all right? So shout out to Bleach Report. Make sure all your friends know uh, that they're about to get busy out here in the uh, media streets, all right? Uh, and hey, y'all be sure to follow Vash Lombardi on Twitter, on YouTube, and on Bleach Report. So when I go live, y'all know when I go live on Bleach Report. Jerry thinks he's a football genius. He's a damn joke. Yeah, Jerry Jones ain't good. Though. We ain't got to talk about that. All right? Y'all hold down for the Dusty Wolves and Peace Weeski, man. Until next time, love y'all two pieces. Crown, bleacher, gone.